I'm William Grantham with IchimokuWeather.com, and today we're taking a look at a quick trading plan on iShares Gold Trust ETF IAU. In early May, we had a Kumo breakout with price action moving above the cloud, and then from then on, it stayed above the blue line, the Tenkan Sen, all the way up until today, where we did have a gap down into our market action with a red candle closing. Putting our green possible entry line at the close brings it at $35.64. 10% below that is $32.08. And then 10% above that is coming in at $39.2. If we take $35.64 and subtract $32.08 from it, we get $3.56. Our average true range is 0.36. So if we take the average true range and divide it into 3.56, we do have 9.89 as an ATR safety margin. That means that there's a possibility that we could have nine, almost 10 trading days of average true range of the average range of the market before uh, moving down before it could possibly hit our stop. Now, that's a pretty big safety range, and that means that it could take a while for it to come down here and stop, but it also means it could take a long time before it goes up and hits a 10% target as well. And that's what we're going to be watching. We're going to do a paper trade on a market order coming in tomorrow morning that will be executed on the open. And then we're going to see if market action can get up to the target before it goes down and hits the stop. If it goes down and hits the stop, we'll be stopped out of the trade. And then if it goes up to the target, then we will take partial profit on our paper trade. Taking a look on our weekly, we can see back in August of last year, we did have a 10-year high at 39.52. And after it hit that high, it pretty much traded down into a trading range and sideways through the first of the year and then came underneath the weekly cloud, came up. And right now, we are having a Kumo breakout on the weekly cloud. However, this particular week, and this candle has not closed yet because we're still in the middle of the week, is down at the top of the cloud. So we're curious if this is going to be support or if we're going to fall inside the cloud. We do have support in between our entry and our stop on the weekly of both the blue line and the red line as well as the bottom of the cloud. For resistance in between an entry and our target, we do have the red line right here coming into the first of the year at about 35.65. We have the blue line back here at 37.42. It's a little bit flat. That provides us a resistance area. And then, of course, the tops of these candles coming in just right underneath our target at 38.89. Now, if we can get up to the 39.2, then that means that we will be pushing towards setting a new 10-year high and could possibly move above the 39.52. That's what we'll be looking for. On the daily, the support we have underneath our current price is the 200-period simple moving average, which is represented by this black line, the red Kijinsen, and then, of course, the cloud formation that is a moving zone of support that's in between our current price and our stop. At the first of the year, we did come in and have a little bit of a pop-up here. That's going to be our resistance. That's about halfway up. It's about at 3720 and a little less than halfway that we could find that as resistance if we have the opportunity to move up to that point. So this is our trading plan on IAU, the iShares Gold Trust ETF. We're going to have a market order that's going to come in and hopefully execute somewhere close to 3564. We will take wherever it executes and look 10% below it and put in a stop. And we'll also look 10% above it and use that as our target. I'm William Grantham with IchimokuWeather.com. May your trades be true and your profits strong.